how many of you have qualified gate and looking for a scope in life sciences as well as biotechnology so if your answer is going to be yes i'm there to help you out regarding the same hey friends this is ria khilwani from biotechnica today i will be talking about career options that one can have after qualifying gate exams these options will not only put you into the better position but also help us to fulfill all your goals and base your ambition so guys let us start the video yes let's proceed So well, so let us have an insight into the importance of a gate exam in shaping the career of a biotech or as well as life science students. So the very first opportunity that one can have after gate qualification is higher studies. One can pursue their MSc or well as MTech programs in any of the leading institutes of the country with scholarship. You can get stipendship along with your MC, MSc or Amtech programs, but there is one requirement associated with it. You need to have a good and valid GATE score. Now this GATE score depends on the type of institution you are getting into. Like it depends on IITs, ISERs, IISE, cutoff is totally different for all. And one more thing, you need to clear a final round of interview. There are some institute that, that have two final rounds of interview, but there are some institute that you need to clear a written test for that. And after that, it is followed by two more rounds of interview. So it depends on the type of reputed institute you are getting into. So your good and valid gate score along with your interview will let your admission into your dream institute. Also, you can get an admission into IITs or NITs. You can not only get for higher education there, but you can also pursue research. You can do your PhD there. Now, here, the candidate is eligible to choose his or her favorite institute. But how? How you can get your favorite institute? It's totally on the basis of your gate score that you are having. So what is the GATE score for IC? For IC, you need to have a GATE score of more than or equals to 800. But for IITs, it varies. If it is a new IIT, for this, you need to have a GATE score of greater than or equals to 500. And for all IITs, the GATE score is greater than and equals to 650. You can also score a, use this as gate score for a PhD admission. For this, you can join any of the CSIR labs, DBT labs, ICMRs, or CFTIs for your research. That is centrally funded institute for your research. And once you will complete your PhD there, you are now eligible for the post of assistant professor at any of the IITs or well as, as any of the central university. You can get for the post of assistant professor. Not only your higher education and your research you can get after your qualifying gate, you can also get a jobs in PSU sectors. Now, what is this PSU? PSU stands for Public Sector Undertakings. So there are three PSUs that is listed by Department of Biotechnology, that is DBT, Government of India. So what are these three PSUs? First is BIPCOL. What is this BIPCOL? It is Bharat Immunologicals and Biologicals Corporation Limited. Second, you can also get into BIREC, which is Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council. Not only this, you can also go for IFCOL, that is Indian Vaccines Corporation limited. So these are three PSUs. If you don't want to pursue your MSc, if you don't want to pursue your AMTEC, if you don't want to get into PhD, you can directly go for a jobs at PSU sectors. Under BIREC, you have one more opportunity. BIREC provides an additional opportunity for the gate qualified students, but there is an, again a an requirement associated with it. What is it? You need to have a PhD in life sciences. So firstly, you have to qualify GATE and then you need to complete your PhD and only then you are eligible for the post of manager as well as technical officer under BAREC. So this additional opportunity is provided by BAREC so you can avail that too. 
So you can also go at Bach. What is this Bach? Bhaba Atomic Research Center. So you can also pursue your PhD at Bach, Mumbai. So you can go for project assistance as well as junior research fellowship if you are willing to. Not only this, you can also get a government research jobs and trainings. So what all trainings are provided for students for get qualified? There is a firm called Biotechnology Consortium India Limited. So this firm generally provides a training for the candidates and they prefer get qualified and CSI qualified candidates too. They provide a training program for six months and they do provide a stipend for them. So there you are exposed to different kinds of tools and techniques that are used in research. So you can avail that opportunity too if you are get qualified. So if someone is willing to get into pharma sectors, so they can also get into any of the research company if they are gate qualified. So what post do they offer for the gate qualified candidates? You can get a uh, post like quality assurance as well as quality control. So you can go in pharma companies too if you are qualified gate. So you might be having a question in your mind, like if I'm an Indian and I have qualified GATE, am I eligible to pursue my PhD overseas? So the answer to this question is yes, you can do your PhD abroad, but there are only certain universities that accept GATE score. There are only three universities that accept GATE score. So the first is National University of Singapore, that is NUS. If not, you can also, if you are willing to, you can also get into Nyang Technological University that is again in Singapore. You can also go for a Technical University of Munich that is in Germany. Also, if you don't want to pursue your education, you don't want to get into research and you just, if you are looking for a job in technical as, as well as management section, so okay, so you are eligible, you can get a job as an executive trainee and assistant professor in any of the management sections or technical section in any of the company if you are willing to. So I guess uh, people who had a lot of dilemmas and confusion with respect to GATE exam have now got certain basic understanding of opportunity that you can have after qualifying GATE. So without wasting a single minute, let's have a solid preparation for the upcoming GATE exam. So I would just like to conclude my topic by saying this, just believe in yourself and anything is possible. Just believe in yourself and anything is possible because impossible itself says I am possible. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Also share to your friends and colleague whosoever has qualified gay so that they can also get a doorway to their multiple opportunities. So till then, bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day. Meet you in the next video. Wish you all the best.